Hi, and welcome to this video of Dynamics 365 Talk, where I'll be talking about the recommendation action in business roles. Recommendations have been part of Dynamics 365 for quite some time now, but I've noticed that uh, lots of people don't really know about this feature, which prompted this video. But before I get started, I wanted to really quick introduce myself to you. My name is Dion Taylor. You can take a look at my blog at d365goddess.com or you can go ahead and follow me on Twitter at d365goddess. So what exactly are recommendations? So a recommendation is a type of action in a business role and it allows the system to make a suggestion or recommendations to users based on data that's entered in a form. When the conditions set in a business rule are met, then you get a small blue light bulb icon that shows next to the field the business rule has been configured for, which the end user can click on. And then when the icon is clicked, a text box with the recommendation will become visible for the user, which they can apply or they can just go ahead and ignore that. So let me show you first what that looks like. So I configured a recommendation business rule, or I should say I configured a business rule with a recommendation action on the estimated revenue field. And I have some different recommendations. If the estimated revenue is, for example, between 1,001 and $5,000, <clears> it's actually gonna give me a 10% risk discount if it is a revenue estimated revenue of 25k or more it's going to give me a 20 percent discount recommendation and if the revenue is lower than one thousand dollars and higher than zero dollars then it's going to give me a recommended discount amount of five percent <clears throat> now the other thing you can see here is that my discount percentage is actually it's a locked field so i can't go in here and type a number in here um, so that's also how you can kind of lock things down, right? So I actually typed in here that, let me actually change that, oops, let me change that to um, $800 as my estimated revenue. And when we then click on my recommendation, as you can see, it's saying now because it's less than $1,000, it's suggesting to give a 2% discount. If I click on this apply button, you will see here that my discount is actually that 5% discount that we configured. Now, if we change that revenue to, let's say, let's do higher than $1,000. So let's do $5,000. Let's now again, click on that estimated revenue. And now it's actually asking me or telling me that I can, I'm recommending to do a 10% discount. Again, if I click apply, it's going to put that 10% in that particular field. So that's a really good example of how you can use the recommendations action in business rule, business rules. Now let's take a look at that configuration for a second. So here is my business rule and that I actually named recommendation colon discount and then the percentage field. Obviously you can name this anything you want. Um, I would just really make sure that it's very descriptive so you can kind of understand what they're doing. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to put in a condition and you can see here that it says in my display name, this is just uh, basically telling me what I'm doing here, right? So in my opportunity entity, I'm going to scroll down a little bit. Um, my first rule here is if the estimated revenue is less or equal to 1000, right? And you can see the and logic here on the bottom. And if that same estimated revenue field is greater than zero, what do I want the system to do? Well, what I can do from here is I can just go ahead and drag this recommendation. As you can see, that's what I did onto this board here that you see and then I can just go ahead and click on that so again I could put in a name for that recommendation I could put some details in here right which field estimated revenue this is my recommendation title it's actually not a 2% discount it's a 5% discount right um, and then what I can do is my recommendation details 
this is actually what the users will see when they click on that recommendation icon, that little blue light bulb that you saw. Well, this is not everything. Then we still have to actually go ahead and put some actions in there as well, right? So my action here is, again, I can just drag stuff in here, right? I can set the field value or I can set a field business required or whatever I want to do. In this particular case, I'm actually setting a field value, as you can see, where if they hit apply, which you just saw, then it's actually going to set that opportunity discount percentage field to the value of five. And this is the same way, uh, right? These other ones are, are very similar to that. If my estimated revenue is between 1,001 and five grand, right? There we go. Less or equal to five grand, greater than 1,000 then I'm going to recommend the 10% discount. Again, recommendation details is what the users will see. And again, my action here, this is basically putting my discount is now going to be 10%, right? Okay, now <clears throat> I told you earlier that on my field, that, that opportunity discount field, if I go back here, that is a locked field. So you have to make sure that you have this field on this opportunity form twice. And one of them needs to be configured as not a locked field, right? So that's just making that field hidden on that form so that the business rule can actually put data in that field. I hope you liked this video. Uh, please give it a like and again, follow me on Twitter or subscribe to my blog. Thanks so much.